So here we are at our SharePoint site. The first thing we need to do is to check to see whether usage analysis has been enabled. So to do this, we need to log on to SharePoint as an administrator, then go to site actions, go to site settings. In here, you'll find a option under the site administration heading called site usage report. If we click on that, we see that the site usage report here hasn't been configured or hasn't been run. So in this case, we know that it hasn't been configured. So what we'll do now is we will go out and run the SharePoint administration, which you'll find under Start Administrative Tools, SharePoint 3 Central Administration. When the administration program is launched, um, you'll see three tabs across the top. Select the Operations tab. And then under the logging and reporting options, you'll find an option called usage analysis processing. Simply click this and you'll be brought up to a window that allows you to firstly enable logging, which you select, and then secondly to enable usage analysis processing. As you can see, we have to specify a time for this processing to run. Uh, be aware that the processing analysis can take a small amount of system resources and is best configured out of production time. So once this is configured we select OK and what will happen now at the next time that we approach 1am in our case the system will then process all the logs and give us a usage report. So in this case because we've only just configured uh, the processing no report will be available until after the time period that we've configured has elapsed. However, what I have here is an example of um, a site usage report from a site that is operating. And as you can see, the report gives me um, quite an extensive list of information about what pages have been accessed at what time. Now at the top here you can also see that you can change the type of report that you want. So you can look at the page, the user, the operating system, the browser and the referrer URL. And you can also select whether you wish to see a monthly summary or a daily summary. So in this case if I change my report to a referrer URL on the month and select go, my report will then be reconfigured to display the information that I've requested. So in this case I can now see a list of all the referring URLs to my site over the past month. If you are planning to install, migrate or maintain Windows SharePoint, we recommend you take a look at our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. For more information see www.wssops.com I'd like to thank you for watching the video and ask that if you found this video to be helpful to make a donation via donation.ciaops.net.au Also, please don't hesitate to send me feedback at director at ciaops.com or keep in touch via my blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog Thank you very much for watching.